Hi, this is Jessie from the Helena College Library. This video will show you how to cite a book in APA style. When you include information from an outside source in your paper, you must first add an in-text citation to describe the source in the body of the paper. The in-text citation includes three pieces of information, the author's last name, the year of publication, and the page number for the information. The book cover, title page, and verso or back side of the title page often have everything you need to construct your citations. Let's, take an ex let's look at an example using a book. The title, cover page, and verso are below. Here is a direct quote from the book. The citation appears in parentheses at the end of the sentence. The text is bold for illustration purposes only. In your paper, the citation will not be bold. The first part of the in-text citation is the author's last name. You can easily find the author's name on the cover of the book. Next is the publication year. The verso of the title page is the best place to find this information, which is usually the copyright date. If many dates are listed, choose the most recent. Finally, the page number is the location in the book where the information or quote is located. You can also integrate your sources into your writing using signal phrases. Your in-text citations will look a little different, but still provide the same information. Here is an example where we have paraphrased information from the book. The author's names are used in a signal phrase to introduce the outside information, with the publication date in parentheses right after. Finally, page numbers for the information are included in parentheses at the end. Each of your sources will also be included in your list of references at the end of your paper. Every source that you cite in the body of your paper should also be in the list of references. This list of references provides the full citation for each source with enough information for a reader to find it. Again, the book cover, title page, and verso of the title page will have the information you need. Let's look at a basic citation for a book. Remember to pay careful attention to all punctuation, spacing, and formatting in the sample citations you look at and apply them to yours. The first part of a citation is the author's last name, followed by their first and sometimes middle initials. The last names should match your in-text citation and refer to the cover of the book to find the first and middle initials. Next is the year of publication in parentheses, which will again be the same as your in-text citation. The title of the book is written in italics using sentence style capitalization. This means you only capitalize the first word of the title and subtitle and any proper nouns. The rest of the words will be lowercase. If the book is an edition other than the first, include the edition number in parentheses after the title. You will usually see this on the cover page or title page. Next, list the city and state of publication. The verso of the title page will have the most accurate information, usually located near the copyright date. You can also look on the title page. If more than one location is listed, choose the first or most prominent. Finally, the publisher is named. This is usually found on the verso of the title page near the publication date and place. The title page may also have this information. And this is our complete citation. You'll notice the author names and year are the same for the in-text citation and the full citation. This serves to the direct the reader from the information in your paper to the correct source in the list of references, so make sure they match. Your citations may look a little different depending on the book you cite. Refer to a pocket style manual, pages 180 to 221, or the Purdue OWL website for more guidelines and examples. And don't hesitate to contact your Helena Libra College Library with any questions.